okay good evening my dear youtube viewers today we are taking the new chapter or new topic the name is sampling this statistical research can take two forms one is survey form the first one is survey form or another way we can call it as census and in second form is sampling sampling is a technique so here it is in general we used the word sampling survey method because for the common man they cannot discriminate both that's why they used the word sample survey but basically sampling method is different survey method is different how we can go through number 1 census investigation under this every unit is studied in a quantitative manner the statistics form of is the backbone of all planning planning without statistics will be nothing more than a visionary approach to the problems advantages of census reliability by using the computers minor possible errors can easily be overcome that's why census data is highly reliable next detailed information the census figures are very pregnant that is more large they yield much more information than merely the count of the heads if you count only one man will come if you ask the question the man will give the more amount of information that's why they are using the word information they yield much more information than merely the count of the heads heads is equal to persons next disadvantages of census if the census gives highly reliable and detailed information but it is not free from the drawbacks it is also having the some demerit points example expensive ness this is first point the surveys are more cost as a rule made by the government only that's why it takes a lot of time excessive time and energy this is the second point it takes not only more time and also consume more energy so it will do only at rare situations or the special cases third instability in certain cases some problems are, are range over wide area so it is impossible to study all units under normal conditions many cases cannot be surveyed so this type of technique is unsuitable hence only it is confined to the limited field for that it is more useful In second one sample technique up to this survey we covered the second category is sample technique or sample investigation under this instead of whole total units only we will take few units which as a representative of that survey the value of sampling technique generally they used at the education field economics commercial and scientific domains why because it gives the high as well as the qualitative value about the day to day activities example blood test of a particular person it will be done only by the laboratory person or the lab technician whether the blood is infected or not he is going to inform for us but not by the physician so we are getting the qualitative information next the main features of sampling technique example number 1 economy it is less expensive and less amount of time it will consume compare with the census technique so if it is a census it takes more for sampling it takes minimum why because depending upon its size census is the larger and the sampling is a sample is a very small size second point reliability sample have same reliability as it was in census survey third one detailed study as sample size is limited or the small so one can easily study the very depth of the information and in a multifarious in a multi angles we can study fourth one the scientific base by comparing the two or more units 
with one another one can easily understand the nature of deviation what made you to deviate from the normal situation next greater stability in most situation where there is a homogeneous society they prefer to do the sampling survey than general survey this is very important sample general survey word is com common you think so sample survey than the general survey where there is a homogeneous society once again we will switch over sampling this is the another type of technique the statistical research can take in two form the first one is survey form that is nothing but the collection of the data under the name of the census and the second form is sampling the second census is the very larger amount information whereas the sampling is very limited amount that is the difference between the census and the sampling in general we used the in research methods sample survey method but survey is method is a larger sample is a very small but common man they cannot understand this much of discrimination we used like that sample survey method next one census investigation we are going to study the census information census investigation under this every unit is studied in a quantitative manner numerical number is important the statistics form are acting as a backbone of all planning planning without statistics will be nothing more than a visionary approach to the problems so what are the advantages and the disadvantages we will go through advantages of the census reliability by using the computers minor possible errors can easily overcome that's why census data is highly reliable second detailed information the census figures are very pregnant pregnant means more amount of information quantity is more they yield much more information than merely the count of the heads heads means only person number is different person giving information is more that's why they are comparing with these two next disadvantages of census census gives highly reliable and detailed information but it is not an exception it is also having some drawbacks that's why we are telling but it is not free from the drawbacks also next what are those three types expensiveness the surveys are more cost as a rule made by the government only that's why it takes lot of time excess time and energy it takes not only more time and also consume more energy so it will do the research only at the special and the rare cases only third instability in certain cases some problems range over wide area so it is impossible to study all units generally if the number is more it is a problem to study under normal conditions many cases cannot be surveyed so the technique is unsuitable not useful for this but it is used the census is useful only if the area is limited then switch over to the second variety sampling technique or the sampling investigation under this instead of whole or total units only few units are taken as a representatives of that survey next the value of sampling technique used at the education field economic commercial and scientific domains too why because it gives the high and qualitative value in day to day social activities example if you want to test the person of the blood blood test so we will go for the laboratory only lab technician will provide that facility to say whether it blood is infected or not but it was not done by the doctor or the physician the main features of sampling technique economy it is less expensive and also consume less amount of time compare with the census technique census takes lot of time why because population is more whereas sample size is very less 
Second, reliability. Sample have same reliability as it was in the census survey. Either in the small size or the larger size, the information is more or less. Third one, detailed study. As the sample size is limited or small, one can easily study the very in-depth study and also in multi-dimensional way or multifarious way. Next, scientific base. By comparing the two or more units with one another, one can easily understand the nature of deviation. What made you to deviate, to differ? Compare with the normal condition or the normal situations. The last one, the greater stability in most situations. Where there is a homogeneous society, they prefer to do the sample survey than the general survey. Why? Because in this homogeneous society, all features are one and same. If you take the limited sample, we can easily say about the entire group. But it is sam census survey. There, are, there is no homogeneous society. That is the heterogeneous society. That's why sample technique will not be suitable for the general survey is required. For sampling, sample survey is required. By this, today's lecture is completed. This is Bindu taking leave from the YouTube platform. Please, if possible, do subscribe. Good night.